The Kyrgyz people, who live in the mountain areas of southern and northern Tianshan and the Pami area in Xinjiang, China, have a long history and nomadic tradition. The Kyrgyz have been nurtured generations after generations by the epic Manas, an oral epic which have been singing for a thousand years. Today, the Kyrgyz rely mainly on animal husbandry, agriculture, and handicraft industry. Kyrgyz women are especially skillful in embroidering felt rugs. The Kyrgyz love grasslands as well as their hero Manas, and are proud to be his descendants even now. Manas is a living epic. Wherever there are Kyrgyzians, there are songs of Manas. Although sometimes accompanied by a kind of instrument called kanus, most performances of Manas are merely singing with one or several singers. After work, during family reunions, or large gatherings of hundreds or thousands of persons for weddings, ceremonies and festivals, people gather together, excitedly and cheerfully, singing and listening to the heroic epic manas throughout the night. Kyrgyz people call good singers manas manaschi. Jisub Mamai is the most talented Manaschi of our time. He is the only singer who can completely perform the eight cantos of Manas, narrating the adventures of Manas and his seven generations after him. The eight candles include Manas, Semete, Saitek, Kanenim, Said, Aslibacha, Big Bacha, Sumblilek, and Chiget. These make a total of more than 236,000 lying verses. As a living epic, Manas has been polished by generations of outstanding Kyrgyz singers, integrating the wisdom of the whole ethnic group. Learning either from their fathers or from masters, these Manasji improvise and perform freely at different time and places. Until now, more than 80 variations have already been collected. Enjoying the performances of Manas, the most popular art form, Kyrgyz people would give Manas sheep white felt hats, clothes, sheep and horses to express their respect and appreciations.
The Kyrgyz people have a long history. Its early record can be found in the Chinese history book from the Western Han Dynasty in the third century BC. In 648, the area of Upper Yenisei River Valley, where the ancient Kyrgyz resided, was administered by a prefecture of commander-in-chief set up by the government of the Tang Dynasty. The epic Manas is deeply rooted in Kyrgyz historical and cultural past. During the long and hard journey that their forebears moved southward from the upper reaches of the Yenisei River to Tianshan Mountains and Pamir, especially during frequent tribal wars, the longing and quest for ideal social life became the rich resources of Manas. In the songs of Manas, the Kyrgyz history is understood, culture is transmitted, knowledge learned, and young people educated. Manifested as a living encyclopedia that is closely related to their daily life, the songs of Manas not only teach them to enjoy life, but also help them cultivate a strong ethnic character and nurture outstanding creativity. <laughs> Along with the social development over time, performance contexts and atmosphere of Manas have changed as well. As more and more aged Manasji passed away, few singers can perform the whole version. Yet even fewer are young people who would like to learn to sing. So far, local authorities and some non-government organizations in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region have carried out some measures to safeguard the epic manners, including surveying, collecting, publishing and doing researches, as well as establishing study groups and organizing transmission workshops. They've incorporated the epic in the intangible cultural heritage list at both national and autonomous district levels. The implementation of relevant local laws and policies would definitely make the safeguarding of Manas advance to a new stage. Establishing cultural and ecological reservation areas and safeguarding institutions. Providing more funding to Manasji to encourage large-scale performances and train young epic singers. Selecting and incorporating representative epic episodes into textbooks for ethnic language and art courses in elementary and middle schools. Establishing Manas database and special website. Encouraging folk performances of Manas and supporting professional troops to develop more programs about it. Constantly publishing variations of Manas in Kyrgyz and other languages, and furthering its academic studies.